Your Excellency, Maitripala Sirena, President of Sri Lanka, Honorable Cabinet Ministers of Sri Lanka, Governor of the Northern Province, Reginald Kure, Chief Minister of Northern Province, C.V. Vigneshwaran, distinguished invitees, residents of Jaffna, Vanakkam, Subha Ude Sanak Veva Ayu Bhavan. Last year in March, I was in Jaffna. The warmth and affection that I received from the people of Jaffna is still fresh in my mind. It was a historic day because it was the first visit by an Indian Prime Minister to Jaffna. Today is another landmark day when once again we celebrate our partnership with the people of Sri Lanka and with residents of Jaffna. Today, along with President Sirisena, we dedicated the Durayappa Stadium to the people of Sri Lanka. And we are not alone. The modern tools of communication have enabled 1.25 billion people of India and the friendly people of Sri Lanka to join us in this celebration. Friends, after a wait of nearly 20 years, your applause and cheer will once again rekindle the soul of Durayappa Stadium. Even while we are sitting thousands of kilometers away in Delhi, we can feel the pulse of vibrancy an atmosphere of change in Jaffna. The Durayappa Stadium is not just a brick and mortar. It is a symbol of optimism and economic development. An arena of a prosperous and healthy future for Jaffna's youth it demonstrates your determination to save the legacy of violence and pursue the path of economic progress. Its foundations are supported by your courage and great sacrifices. Its successful com completion is a signal that you have left the past behind and are looking to the promise of the prosperous future. Excellency Sirisena, I also salute your visionary leadership and of Prime Minister Vikrama Singh, the Governor and the Chief Minister of the Northern Province and ensuring the success of this project. Friends, our relations are not limited to the confines of our two governments. They reside in the rich context of our history, culture, language, art and geography. India strongly believes that its economic growth must drive and bring benefits to its neighbors. Durayappa Stadium 
embodies the spirit of our cooperation. Indeed, India's support for Sri Lanka's development is a promise of our friendship and that it will be based on your priorities and your needs is an assurance that you, you can rely on. This is what makes our enduring times relevant to our present and also to our future. Friends, India's desire is to see an economically prosperous Sri Lanka, a Sri Lanka where unity and integrity, peace, harmony and security, and equal opportunity and dignity prevails throughout the country among all its people. Excellency, Sirisena and friends, in about 72 hours from now, the world will be celebrating the second anniversary of the International Day of Yoga on 21st June. Sri Lanka was among the first supporters of the UN resolution on this subject in 2014. And today, we have celebrated the start of the International Day of Yoga with a curtain raiser from Jaffna, from this Duryapa Stadium. The Surya Namaskar, performed just a short while ago, has sent the message of holistic healthcare, harmonious and sustainable living with nature to the world. We could not have asked for a more fitting start and tribute to the International Day of Yoga. Excellency President Sirisena, once again, thank you, the entire leadership present on your side and the lovely people of Japna for this opportunity. Durayappa Stadium will stand as yet another symbol of our lasting friendship. India will walk side by side with Sri Lanka as it charts its own path to progress and prosperity for all of its citizens. Once again, convey greetings to the people of Sri Lanka from 1.25 billion people of India. Bohoma Stuti, Mikka Nandari, thank you very much.